supports his farm will have a long-term dream into an agricultural institute or technical institute whereby we have got people with different skills we have people who can actually do advanced fencing animal nutrition so by bringing the factory to the farmer we've reduced the value chain for the smaller farmer to afford him the opportunity to earn more money for his milk but part of our social infrastructure is not just doing that because it's more than that if we can start to teach these smaller farmers how to increase their productivity, how, we can, how they can make their 10-acre farm more profitable, how do we actually make that man more profitable, that family, and keep him on that farm? Number one, we introduce him how to manage his grass. The same way we have to manage our grass on Tomosi. We have region and crosses of Lakeview. But now we are now changing these animals now to Jersey breed. Because these animals you are seeing here, they are the animals people have in Denmark, they are the animals people have in Netherlands. We're probably looking for $15 million. That sounds like a lot of money. In reality, it's not that much money because of the size of the investment. We've got a guaranteed off taker. So I can guarantee that my milk will be bought. I can't guarantee the price. I've obviously got to negotiate that. But once I know that I'm milking 1,500 cows, I can then manage that. If I can give my milk supplier 20,000 liters a day, I'm in a little bit of a better position to negotiate with him because I know what his capacity is. I know what his needs are. So it gives me a bit of a bargaining power. And the pressure that Europe and Great Britain are going to be under in the next 10 years. Carbon emissions, droughts, all of those things. This is where the opportunity lies, here, in this country. We're asking you to come home with us. Come make your home here. Come and invest in us as Ugandans. Become part of us and we will share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andre Skirpis. I'm the general manager of Tomosi Farms.